Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Now, you'll know that usually I leave the latest LEGO releases until the end of the month, but I feel like today's video is just something that needs to be addressed and it's by no means an anti-LEGO video or anything to hold against LEGO, just one set in particular. So don't leave any mean comments down below, but it's about the new Bark Speeder escape set, which is from the scene in The Mandalorian, a flashback scene with Grogu getting rescued by Keller and Beck. I'm sure we all know the scene that I'm talking about. And it's a bit of a letdown of a set. I'll bring the set up in a second and talk more into details. But before I start, I would like to say there will still be a closer look at these at the end of the month. So if you feel like you don't want to watch this video, you can come back at the end of the month and there'll be a more neutral look into the set. But everything in this video is purely my opinion. And there was another set that came out with it. An amazing set. It does look really cool. Small Sith Infiltrator and the Lego community is going wild for that. I have not seen one bad thing said about it. I'm sure there's a few flaws. But not one person has said a bad thing about that yet. And I do think that is a great set to release alongside this one. Because let's take a look at this set. So as you can see, Bark Speeder Escape. It comes out on May 1st like the other Star Wars set. And hopefully we get a few more for May. Because I'm expecting still a giant UCS set as they do every year. I'm sure they will not miss the mark on that. But this set is very disappointing i think the biggest disappointment for this set is actually the price tag that comes along with it 24.99 is a lot for a bark speeder a lamp keller and beck two clones and you get grogu in his pod i don't know if i should count the pod towards the peace count or perhaps grogu and his pod add up to a regular minifigure but it's definitely not enough for $24.99 and I'm not quite sure what Lego were thinking here. 221 pieces. Okay, it's not at the 100 piece count a battle pack would be at. It is slightly more. But is it £25 worth for a Bark Speeder? Well, let's go back to 2020 when Lego released this 501st Clone Troopers battle pack. This was amazing. Everyone at this up i think i ended up buying like five plus of these i know you can only buy five through lego i definitely bought a few elsewhere and this came with a bark speeder and an atrt for 285 pieces so it's not too much more than keller and beck speeder but you got a bark speeder you got an atrt you got a jetpack clone trooper which we haven't really seen too much of unless you've played the battlefront game in which case you've seen too much of but it came with four five of first minifigures two battle droids and honestly is one of the best battle packs i think this has gone down as one of the best battle packs in lego history now of course at the time this was i think this might have been the first battle pack that was at that 25 price tag which we've now got another one this year i'll get into that in a minute but this was a quality battle pack it basically took two 15 pound battle packs you had, say, the two clones and a droid with a bark speeder, two clones and a droid, and an ATRT. So, not quite the full £15 battle packs. And then it merged them to a £25 set. We've also seen that with this year's Clone Trooper and Battle Droid battle pack. They've taken five droids and a tri droid as its own battle pack. They've taken a bark speeder and a barricade unit with four clones as a battle pack merged them 25 pound an amazing battle pack and this also will probably go down in the history of battle packs now these aren't the only phase two clones available first off the bark speeder escape is the only set as of may the 1st that will have these 501st phase two clone troopers of course We've just seen the Coruscant Guard and some plain Phase 2 in this battle pack. We've also currently still got the 332nd Clone Trooper battle pack available. Also the 501st or Specialist Clone Trooper battle pack, which doesn't include a regular 501st clone. In fact, the most regular looking here on the left actually has a Karma and it also has a blue belt to go around with it. None of these are regular 501st, so it's nice to see the 501st available again. 212s in the 8080 walker which is still available some more coruscant guards and fox available in the gunship we've even got for the venita captain rex available and then of course we've got fives 
in the brand new Tantive as a special figure. In fact, Phase 2s are everywhere. If you wanted a Phase 1 Clone Trooper, the only place you can buy one is in the £350 UCS Republic gunship, and it only comes with that one captain. So perhaps we do need to get a few of the Phase 1 clones sometime soon. So it does make sense why LEGO went with the 501st over the 212 or even some plain Phase 2 troopers. And I'm very happy they did because they could have just as easily whacked in some of the Coruscant guards. I think everyone was expecting the Coruscant guards because they're the ones that lead the plain Phase 2 troopers off the gunship. And it would have been the easiest for LEGO to do. They're already in two sets. They're not exactly uncommon. So to have the 501st troopers in here is amazing for lego and because of the way they've built grogu's pod again we will be looking at this more in depth at the end of the month you can actually fit the 2501st troopers on the bark speeder now the problem i have is in this scene there is a second speeder and even if they didn't want to go with the second speeder i don't think this year we've seen any battle pack sets we saw the 25 pound one but we've seen none at that 17 18 pound price mark and I've actually custom built my own Keller and Beck speeder. This uses 84 parts, I'm pretty sure. It's something around that, 84, 86. The instructions are on Rubricable if you do want to build it yourself. But this uses enough pieces to whack it in a smaller battle pack. Okay, you're probably looking at a few more for Grogu's pod because I don't think I added Grogu's pod to it. But this is a very nicely sized speeder. I realise I'm showing it off camera here. I have made a few modifications. You all voted the 2014 Battle Pack to be your favourite out of the bunch. So I've added a few modifications just to line it up to that set. And I'll probably be showing it off as a short at some point. But I've also, to go along with it, built this little lamp that first off does look a bit more accurate. Again, there'll probably be a short out for it. But... This would make a great battle pack, perhaps Keller and Beck, Grogu, two clones. There is going to still be the problem of people wanting an army builder over Keller and Beck and Grogu. Like we saw with Ki Adi Mundi, Barris Offi, that was a great battle pack in my opinion because I don't tend to pick up more than one of them, but it wasn't a great army builder. In fact, I'll probably do a video in the next few days whether we can turn this set and my mock into a battle pack because I think there is a load of potential for that smaller sized battle pack. As I said, 80 something pieces, we'll say 90 pieces. The regular battle pack is 100 to about 120 pieces for the smaller size. They could have made it into a battle pack. My speeders not lacking anything. Perhaps you could get some stud shooters down at the bottom instead of the two blaster pieces I've used. But besides that, you've got Grogu's pod, you've got the sidecar. And the sidecar isn't too big, but LEGO have definitely oversized this sidecar. I mean, four studs wide, there's no chance it's even really two studs wide compared to how big a minifigure is. So for them to have gone beyond, and because of this, they've also had to add some stickers so it just doesn't look out of place. Add some little details that really aren't necessary. I mean, there's no bright white stripes on the speeders. You can definitely see there's some sort of markings on them. But if LEGO included a two wide piece, they wouldn't have needed the stickers. Likewise on the back, they've included a one by one sticker to represent a thin strip on the back of the speeder. So it's definitely not without its faults. That's nothing new. LEGO can't make perfect sets every time. Otherwise, what would they have to improve on for the next year? If they made a year of perfect sets, it would throw them off for the future of LEGO Star Wars. But this set is just a big disappointment. And lego itself right now is not a big disappointment we've just had all the april sets that have come out and as i've said they've covered so many niches in that set the D, &D set does look amazing i've seen so many people that aren't a fan of D, D going out picking that up buying it with their own money i'm not talking about people that get it on the lego ambassador network but people actually buying this because of how great it looks with the lion knights castle with any other castle build there was even someone that bought it to try and add to their harry potter display which honestly it doesn't look too bad against a little different but i just don't see many people picking this up especially off the back of the 501st battle pack and all the other times the 501st clone has appeared in a lego set i'm sure people have enough of them right now people don't necessarily want the 501st battle pack 
Keller and Beck might be a popular minifigure, but all I've done is use the Mace Windu torso because it's the same coloured robes. You don't have the gold writing, but it's not too far off. You just need to find a face that's more suited to Keller and Beck. So I think this is another set I won't be picking up, which is a shame because it'd be nice to get an official Keller and Beck minifigure. Hopefully this doesn't rub Lego the wrong way and they think we don't want sets from Mando from Andor because if they do release some other Mandalorian themed sets, I'm sure they'll be flying off the shelves. People are so starved for Mandalorian Season 3 sets. It's really interesting to see what else they'll come out with. Hopefully we get a few sets from Mandalore itself, especially with some of the buildings that we see for a brief second in the show because they could be turned into Clone Wars mocks and... That's something that we still haven't got to date no matter how many times Mandalore showed up in the Clone Wars. And perhaps that's for the better otherwise we would have had the stretched Clone Wars faces. But it would have been nice to have got a few more Mandalorian sets. The only one that springs to mind right now is the duel between Maul and Ahsoka. Which actually brings me to Maul's Infiltrator for just, just a second. I know I said we won't cover it. I'm just going to cover something because you can see in the character lineup, Maul has the new Sith eyes, the orange eyes that don't have a pupil in. This is actually the second Maul that's come out since they've done that. And I didn't realise, as I said, I didn't realise it initially. But if we take a look at the Ahsoka that come out in the Maul versus Ahsoka set, they were amazing sets, by the way. I don't know why Lego decided to stop them. I think they were just giving away too many minifigures for a low price. But the little miniature battles... There was one for Force Awakens, there was one for Episode 3, one for Clone Wars. We should have really got one for the original trilogy, perhaps like a Vader versus Kenobi one with some blast doors that can shut between them, but I guess that would have been hard to do. Anyway, Ahsoka does have her blue no pupil eyes. I'm not really sure if you can see, perhaps I'll have to whack some images up on screen. But Ahsoka does have her blue eyes without the pupils. Yet the Darth Maul that comes in that set still has his pupils. And he does have orange eyes. I mean, the only difference between the new Maul and this Maul is they've removed his black pupils. Which honestly does look really, really cool. And it's one of the many reasons I hopefully will be picking this up. Not day one, but come the Christmas sales, Black Friday sales, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for this one to be reduced. And I think it's a funny decision they've made because when the Ghost come out... They didn't give Hera any pupils and I think going forward some of the less humanoid species won't be given pupils. To add to this new Lego style I really do like it. It's like I told my fiance the Funko eyes. Every single Star Wars Funko has the same eyes and they might have improved them slightly over time. But no matter what sort of alien they are or even if they're a droid they have these big beady eyes. And this is Lego's equivalent. Rather than giving them pupils, they give them some nice brightly coloured eyes. And I think it's a lot nicer than seeing some of the coloured eyes with pupils. Especially when the brick heads are concerned. I'd rather them colour the whole brick heads eye in black to the colour of their eye. And then have the white squares on it. Because them rings around the brick heads eyes do look a bit, well a bit cursed shall we say. Overall, I just had to make a video on the new Bark Speeder. I did make a post April Fool's saying this isn't the only April Fool's joke, right? Because just look at the minifigures in them. You're getting two clones, Keller and Grogu, or four clones and two battle droids. Again, personally, what I would have done was have two of the same speeder, especially when Grogu doesn't fall out, to have a speeder with a sidecar because the sidecar on the speeder it's going to have a different build underneath the actual speeder to the speeder itself. That was a lot of words. I'm sorry if that was confusing. But my perfect set would have had a speeder at a much, much smaller build. And then to include a second speeder with a sidecar. And to whack in an extra 501st clone. Because some people are going to want to whack Kelleran and Grogu on their display. Perhaps not Grogu. We have enough Grogu. I don't know if this is a brand new Grogu. It doesn't seem to differ from the other one, which rightfully so. He doesn't exactly have many of any costume changes. But it would have been cool to perhaps have just got a darker brown plain robe for Grogu. Because he is wrapped up in some Jedi cloth rather than this pilot jacket that he's seen in Mandalorian. 
it's a little detail that honestly can be overlooked when looking at the rest of this set but the pod does attach in as i said you can also get a minifigure to sit down which is pretty cool but my perfect set would have included a speeder with a sidecar another speeder an extra clone three clones kelleran and grogu i know that's still not quite what the battle pack had with the two droids but lego don't tend to class the two droids as minifigures and for the price of the mando n1 starfighter grogu is sort of classed as a half a minifigure so we've got three and a half minifigures as grogu uses two pieces kelleran uses one two three four five six seven eight pieces so perhaps the extra lightsaber is what costs the extra clone but whack another speed up whack another clone and that is quite a nice set and that is actually a nice price for two speeders and you get the lamp which is a lamp extra than the last battle pack but now all we're getting is a bark speeder a lamp honestly i think the lamp was there just to somewhat justify the 25 pound let me know if you are looking to pick this up down in the comments below but honestly it's just not a set i can recommend not at this price Perhaps they can change the price before May comes out. It wouldn't be the first time even the Transformers set come out at some ridiculous price. And then they knocked a couple tens off of that, which still was a lot of money, but it was a justifiable price. Grievous Starfighter, the Justifier itself, both come out at silly money. They saw no price changes, but were very, very popular in sales. I think it's going to be the same thing here, but I do wonder... If this is going to affect the price of Keller and Beck in the aftermarket, it's the only exclusive minifigure in this set. Much like the Airborne clone that I'm still trying to get my hands on from the Grievous Starfighter, it's now impossible to pick up for less than the price of the initial set. So if you are a fan of collecting minifigures, please do wait for a sale. This set's going to be around for at least two years, perhaps even longer than that. Some sets recently have been three, four years. So wait for a sale, pick this up for around that 17 18 pound price or whatever the conversion is in your country and hopefully this video hasn't been too negative but there are a bunch of other interesting lego sets on the way again stick around to the end of the month for a more balanced look at this box speeder and a closer look at the sith infiltrator which is an amazing set i'm so happy they chose to revisit it it's a bit like the yoda starfighter it's not necessary that we got a new one but this one smashes all the other ones out of the park and is by far the best one. So hopefully I'll pick that up at some point. And let me know if you feel the same as I do about this set by dropping a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome and more positive content coming very, very soon. May the brick be with you always.